So the majority of my videos are me showing myself or showing other people how to do things while wearing a prosthetic. But what if you didn't have a prosthetic on? Whatever the reason is that you're not wearing your prosthetic, uh, maybe you're a brand new amputee and you haven't gotten a prosthetic yet, maybe you've been an amputee for a while and you just have a bump on your leg so you're giving it a break so you're not wearing your prosthetic. Um, a lot of amputees don't even wear prosthetics at all. Whatever the reason, this video is going to be about how to get around safely inside of your house when you are not wearing a prosthetic. So there are two main objects that really help amputees sit around when their prosthetic isn't on. One is crutches or a wheelchair. Now crutches have a lot of really good benefits. They're easy to use, they're small on the sense that you can just throw them in the closet or put them in a corner, toss them in and out of your car easy enough. They are, you know, very portable, very easy to use. They do have downsides though. You can't really use crutches if you're missing both of your legs. Um, they also are very hard to use when trying to carry things. Basically crutches, you know, they're good, but they're not 100% practical. Wheelchair, on the other hand, it definitely has its downsides. It's bigger, it's bulkier. Um, you know, it's a lot harder to store. You could stick it in a corner, but it's gonna it's gonna use a lot more room in that corner than crutches would. But with the wheelchair, even if you're missing both of your legs, you can still use the wheelchair. You can still roll, and uh, you can carry things in the wheelchair. You put a drink right in your lap between your legs. If you're at least below knee, um, you can get cup holders. They they have different options. You can carry stuff right in your lap. Um, if you're only missing one leg, you can carry stuff with both hands and use your other leg to kind of push yourself. Uh, wheelchairs have a lot of pros. Uh, we're going to touch more on wheelchairs later. Okay, I want you to imagine it's 3 in the morning, you just woke up, you have an incredible urge to go to the bathroom. Now, without using crutches or a wheelchair, how are you going to get from the bed to the bathroom? Well, you could fly there. But if you're like most people, you don't know how to fly. So your only other option, really, is hopping. Um, a little privacy. I'm trying to go to the bathroom here. Hopping. Probably one of the most common options that an amputee will go with, as long as he has one leg. Uh, it's really fast, it's quick, it doesn't require you to grab anything, no use of crutches or wheelchairs, no matter how many pros or cons that you can figure out for either of those. Nothing beats just throwing yourself up real fast and hopping, which is why I would be willing to guarantee that every amputee out there who is missing only one leg has hopped at least once as they've been an amputee. Uh, there are downsides. You can get yourself arthritis in your ankle, you can hurt your ankle, you can really mess up your knee, your hip, your back. Uh, it can cause you to deteriorate your bones quickly. Uh, hopping has a lot of downsides. With that being said, I really can't talk because I hop, <laughs> I hop a lot. Uh, I do have a pair of crutches. I lent them to my brother about six months ago. I have never asked for them back. That shows you how much they need. My wheelchair, I do keep it in the corner of my room, very close to my bed. But let me go ahead and show you what I use that wheelchair for. This is where two of my dogs sleep at night. With that being said, obviously my predominant choice when I'm not wearing my prosthetic is hopping. Uh, I, I hop all the time. So I, I'm not judging when I say hopping is bad because I personally do it. I'm just saying there are definitely some downsides. With that being said though, it does allow you a lot more freedom. You can just move faster when you hop. So this is only part one. Part one was about uh, describing the different options that you have when you're not wearing your prosthetic leg. Uh, part two will be elaborating on safely using them and different tips and tricks, um, different tips to use your wheelchair in a more practical way, uh, different tips to hop in a safer, if you want to call it safer way. Hopping is probably one of the least safe um, options for when you're not wearing a prosthetic. And I will touch on that in my second video. Um, I'll also show you different things like how to carry drinks while hopping and stuff like that. 
So um, go ahead, I'm going to link the second video to this video as soon as I make the second video. So if you're interested in watching the second video, that's awesome. If you aren't, then thank you for watching this one.